Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Carlos in case you didn't know and today I'm going to teach you a very simple painting. It's decorative art. Um, it's really beginner friendly and it's part of a series I'm working on that's focused on helping people uh, achieve their artistic goals and grow and learn more um, techniques and how to paint. So we are we will go from acrylic to oil, from easy to hard. Today's painting is very easy. You will only need a few supplies, um, some kind of green. I am using two kinds of green, phthalo green and verdian. These are cheap brands, cheap paints. This is just acrylic. Uh, then titanium white, very important. Uh, then uh, some kind of red, I am using crimson crimson, crimson red, sorry. Uh, then some kind of yellow, I am just using a ba basic uh, yellow lemon, lemon yellow, sorry. And for blue, ultramarine blue will, um, will work perfectly. Uh, as a painting surface, I am using a um, canvas uh, paper, so it kind of has uh, the texture of a canvas. I don't know if I can show you. Um, then I'm also using some masking tape and then any kind of brushes, but the brush you will actually need most is this one. This is called a fan brush. Any brands, any quality works. Uh, and yeah, let's get, let's get started, shall we? So, I've already gotten all of my supplies ready, now what we are going to do is to mask the paper, that way we can have crisp lines. Now I will start by painting the edges white, so we can avoid um, any transfer of the colour to the part we've already masked. Okay, so now that it has kind of dried, I am going to start mixing the background color. So, a lot of white and a little bit of blue for starters. This is ultramarine blue, just the best color in the, in the planet, really. Uh, I freaking love this color. So, I will just mix this. And I will add just a touch of blue, uh, of green, so this is Verdian. I always like to add a little bit of green to my blues. Now I am going to add some pure ultramarine to the top and just blend. And some white right around here to blend upwards. With acrylics you must always work extremely fast because you are working against time because acrylics dry very very fast sometimes it's a blessing most of the time it's a curse
Okay, now I'm going to let this paint dry and then I will come back to uh, see if it's alright and if it is, I will move over to the next step. So now the paint is almost dry, so now I'm going to use some raw amber, you can use burnt amber as well, forgot to say this color in the, the beginning of the video. So I'm just getting some of it here and I will use a different brush um, such as this one and I will just get some color and just trace upwards. So what we are doing here uh, is palm trees. So these are the trunks of the palm trees. And we want them really big and thin. But don't worry a lot about precision. This is supposed to be a loose, simple painting just to get you started, just to get the creative juices running it's not supposed to be very technical whatsoever so for now that's how they look now we are going in with the greens. So I am getting some verdian here on my mixing tray and I will add just a touch of white and some yellow. I will mix with the same brush. And now with the fan brush we are just gonna get some color and just kind of place it a little randomly. So now to up the realism of it, even though we don't want it to be realistic, I'm going to add more yellow to the mix and more white, and this will be the highlights. We will clean the brush, and by the time we are done cleaning, the previous layer is already dry. And we don't even mix right, we just, we just like kind of get it mixed, but not really. Because we want some variation. And now we just add some shine. And we repeat with another kind of green, a darker one, we flick the brush a little, we get some darker green, and now we get some yellow, and we add more highlights. things about dry so now we have to take care of the trunk so for this part I just like to get some white going and just use straight up white um, you could make a much lighter color of the trunk as well uh, but for the purpose of the video I am just going to keep it really simple so we can achieve a really pretty look.
Let's get some peel porn going. So this is the final result, it's a really simple painting, of course you could add more detail such as darken this part of the trunk in it in each tree, maybe add less highlights, I just wanted to give it a more, um, a more creative look, a more, you know, interesting kind of impressionist uh, vibe, um, it's a really pretty painting for summer and uh, it's the basis of everything in here you can learn about darkness lightness reflections where the light comes from and how it affects the other objects in the painting and you can always add way more detail to the leaves you can get a reference image and actually draw the shape of the leaves and everything but i just wanted to give you something really quick and simple and on my next video I will do something a little more complex, maybe I will start introducing oil. Um, if you want you can leave some suggestions in the comments and the one I like more will be featured in my next video. So stay well and peace out.